today we're covering chapter three, lesson two, the culture. At the beginning, Nano read about the culture and he was elaborating about the, the definition of a culture and how we are practicing the culture itself. The definition of a culture, it's a set of beliefs. What do you believe in? Your behavior, how do you behave in certain community, your traits that are shared among a group of people, not only you, but you share it with, their, uh, with your community or your family. The term culture also refer to the food, okay? To the uh, customs and traditions, to the celebrations. So we say the Egyptian culture, the Hindu culture or whatever. The traditions that you are doing in your certain community. What, how, do we, uh, how do we express our culture or how do we live in our culture? We do it while clothing, eating or celebrating our holidays or even when we are talking. Maybe we use different languages. For example, we're using English now in our session, but you will use Arabic in your home because this is your culture, okay? Uh, ethnic group. Uh, Judy, read ethnic group. Okay. We can look at members of a culture uh, in terms of age or gender or an ethnic group. An ethnic group is a group of people with common racial, uh, not uh, national, Common racial, national, the tribal, religious, or cultural background. Members of the same Native American nation are an example of people uh, of the same ethnic group. Other example examples include the, the Ma Maori <laughs> of New Zealand and the Han Ch uh, Chinese. Large countries such as China can be uh, home to hundreds of uh, different ethnic groups. Some ethnic groups in uh, in a country are minority groups, people whose uh, race or race or ethnic origin um, is different from that of the ma majority group. The largest ethnic minority group in the United States are Hispanic Americans and African Americans. Uh, members of a members of a, cu a culture might have special uh, rules or positions as part of their cultural traditions. In some cultures, women are expected to care for and educate the ch uh, children. Most cultures expect men to earn money to support their families to or, or to, provi to provide uh, in other ways, such as by, uh, such as by hunting um, and the farming. Many cultures respect the elderly and value their wisdom. The leaders of uh, older traditional cultures are often elderly men or women who have a leadership experience. Most cultures have clearly defined roles for their members from an early age, young people learn what their culture expects of them. It is possible to be, it is possible to, to be part of more than one culture. So at the beginning, who can define what's meant by ethnic group? Hmm. Maya, go ahead. Uh, it's a group. Sorry. Uh, it's a group of people uh, with a common racial, national, tribal, uh, religious, or cultural backgrounds. Okay, who can give me an example? One minute, guys. Who can give me an example of an ethnic group? Who can give me an example of an ethnic group? Maybe Arabs? Egypt, yeah. What's your name? I said Arabs, but thanks. Arabs, that's an ethnic group because you share the, the same language and maybe a religion. Okay, who can give me an example from here, from the book? Hispanic and natives. Mm -hmm. Okay, who can give me an example from here? All right. I said Hispanics and natives. Okay. Um, so uh, we live among many ethnic groups, and every ethnic group has its own culture, language, maybe sometimes, beliefs, traditions, and experience. Okay. Um, they also sometimes share the same economic activity. They are considering someone to be their leader. Uh, who can tell me how do, they, how do they consider a leader? Reem Buddha? And who can be the leader of an ethnic group? Um, 
ده ليدر اللي هو ذا ليدرز اوف اولدر تراديشنال كلتشر ار اوفتن مان اند وومن و هاف ليدر شيب اكسبيرينس اوكي سو هي ذا مي بي ان اولدر اولدر مان هو هاز اكسبيرينس or a woman it could be a woman who has the leadership experience too okay maybe they are elder in age but sometimes we take young people as also as uh, leaders but if they have the needed uh, culture or the needed experience okay let's talk about language which is also a part of that culture hana uh, read language is the as a powerful form of communication through through language people communicate information and experience and pass on the culture and beliefs and tradition thousands of the, the different language are spoken in the world some language have become be, become world language or language that are com commonly spoken in many different parts of the world some language are spoken differently in different region or by different ethnic group a dialect in the regional uh, variety of the of a language with a unique feature such as a vocabulary grammar and uh, pronunciation um, people who speak the same language can sometimes understand other dialects but at the at at, at time the pronunciation or accent of the dialect uh, can be nearly impossible for others to understand All right, so the language is also part of the culture because it reflects how we communicate our information and experience with other people in different fields. The language also reflects the uh, set of beliefs and the cultural uh, background. Also, we don't speak one language. You can find in the language many than one dialect. Okay, so um, also dialect, dialect is a regional variety of a language. It's a part of the language, but in different like dialects. You can find here in Egypt that we are speaking Arabic, but we have different uh, dialects of Arabic. And sometimes the pronunciation or the accent make you understand, and sometimes it does not make you understand. Also, we have something called the uh, major religions or the major religions in the world. We have many major religions in the world, but before we read, who can tell me what are the major religions that you can find in the world? Okay, uh, let me see. Adam, go ahead. Yes, yes. What is the question? The question, what are the major religions that you can find in the world? Major religions. Uh, Buddhism, Christianity, and Hinduism, and Islam. Again, please. Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Adam, very much. You can find Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, uh, Judaism, and also we can find from the Indians because the Indians are uh, a lot of people and they are uh, practicing Sikhism and we have talked about all of these religions before. Now, where can we find Islam, Christianity and Judaism? Who can tell me? Hana Hamdi? Um, Islam, we can find it in Quran. Uh, Christianity, we can find it in the uh, Bible. Uh, these and, are the uh, holy books, yes, yeah, no, um, I mean, do you find them in a certain place or all, are, uh, all over the world? No, all over the world. What That's about Hinduism and Sikhism and uh, Judaism? These are uh, in India, I think, in, in the in other uh, in certain countries, not in uh, uh, not not around the world. Not all the people. It's not a common uh, thing. Okay, thank you. So these are, uh, we have two kinds of religions. Religions that believe in one God and the religions that believe in many gods. What are their names? Who remember? Huh. Who can tell me what are their names? If you remember, Yanirim? Polytheism and Monotheism. 
Yes, monotheism and monotheism. One of them believe in one God and the other one believes in many gods. Christianity, Judaism, and, uh, and Islam believe in one God or many gods, and Sikhism and so on. Do they believe in one God or many gods? One God. In one God, thank you. So religions all over the world are part of that culture. Who can read the re uh, religion part? Let me get a choose. Uh, Maya, go ahead. Religion has a major influence on how people of a culture uh, see the world. Uh, uh, okay, religious beliefs are, pow are powerful. Some individuals see their uh, religion as merely a tradition to follow during special occasions or holidays. Others view religion as the foundation and most important part of their life. Uh, religious practices vary widely, very widely. Uh, men, in many cultures based the, their way of life on the spiritual teachings and law of holy books. Uh, religion is a central part of many of the world's cultures. Uh, throughout history, religious stories and symbols have influenced painting, architecture, and music. Thank you. So religion is considered part of the um, most important part of the uh, culture, and it, it is a, a mostly consisting of a very powerful beliefs. Some individuals see religion as a tradition, but others believe that religion is the foundation of their life and spiritual teaching, actually. Uh, we may agree or disagree with them, but uh, as Egyptian, we all believe that religion is a main part of our uh, culture. Okay, the last part we're going to be reading today is the uh, customs. Who can tell me about the customs? Um, okay. Jane and Omen. I am so good. I know that you're here. We're going to talk at the end of the at the end of the session, but I want you to read about customs. Okay. Uh, customs are also an important outward display of culture. In many traditional cultures, a woman is not uh, permitted to touch a man other uh, than her husband, even for a handshake. In modern Euro European cultures, po uh, polite uh, greetings include kissing on the cheeks. People of many cultures bow to others as a sign of greeting, respect, and uh, goodwill. Uh, goodwill the world's many cultures have con countless uh, has, uh, in Sharfa. Customs, uh, some are used only uh, formally, and others are uh, viewed as uh, good manners and respectful professional behavior. Okay, so uh, customs are also a very important part of the display of culture. It's a, a set of how we are permitted to do what we are not permitted to do. It's a part of, um, maybe it's part of our, um, yani how to deal with people, especially for women, because we have certain customs we should follow. Uh, do we, uh, are we allowed to handshake or not, to kiss on the cheek or not? Uh, what about the goodwill and the bad will? And this part of culture, it uh, actually differs from one country to another country. Okay, inshallah tomorrow, I'm going to, uh, I want you to provide me with examples about different cultures around the world. Yeah, you're going to elaborate about different customs around the world, which you can find strange. I finished our lesson for today. Anyone want to ask any question? No, thanks. Okay. Right. Let me just stop recording. Oh, is the lesson program?